post office. Central Station is the post office. Post office. Right. Welcome back to our literary journey, dear viewers. Today, we are delving into the gritty and uncompromising world of Charles Bukowski's post office. In this video, we'll take you through a detailed exploration of this iconic novel, chapter by chapter, providing you with an in-depth look at its plot, themes, and the significance of Bukowski's unique writing style. Join us as we dissect the life of Henry Chinesky, a character who closely resembles the author himself, and uncover the raw, unvarnished truths woven into this literary masterpiece. Post Office is a semi-autobiographical novel written by Charles Bukowski and first published in 1971. The novel is considered one of Bukowski's most iconic works and it offers readers a raw and unfiltered glimpse into the life of its protagonist, Henry Chinaski, who closely resembles the author himself. In this summary, we delve into the key aspects of the novel, including its plot, themes, and the significance of Bukowski's writing. The novel follows the life of Henry Chinaski, who takes a job as a postal worker in Los Angeles. It explores his experiences and the daily grind of working at the United States Postal Service. Chinaski's life is marked by heavy drinking, casual relationships, and a profound sense of disillusionment. The plot is episodic, showcasing various moments and incidents in Chinaski's life as he navigates the world of the post office. The novel doesn't adhere to a traditional linear structure but rather presents a series of anecdotes both humorous and grim, that highlight the absurdity and dehumanizing aspect of the postal service. Chinaski's job is tedious, and he often finds solace in alcohol and the company of women to escape the monotony of his work. Theme of the book, Alienation, Post Office, explores the profound alienation and disconnect that Chinaski feels in his job and in society at large. He is a misfit in the structured and mundane world of the post office, and this sense of alienation is a central theme throughout the novel, Working Class Life. The novel vividly depicts the struggles and hardships faced by the working class, including low wages, mind-numbing work, and the desire to find meaning or escape in alternative ways, alcoholism and hedonism. Bukowski's protagonist, Chinaski, is a heavy drinker and a hedonist. Alcohol serves as both a coping mechanism and a source of pleasure in his life, and it's a recurring theme in the book. The search for freedom, Chinaski's character represents the yearning for freedom and individuality in a world that can often be oppressive and restrictive. He refuses to conform to societal norms and expectations. There are five chapters in the book, Chapter 1, The Post Office. In the opening chapter, we meet Henry Chinaski the novel's protagonist. He's a down-and-out character who has drifted through a series of dead-end jobs and aimless pursuits. He decides to give the post office a shot, despite his deep-seated aversion to structured work. As he begins his job at the post office, we see how out of place he is in this bureaucratic and monotonous environment. The chapter introduces us to the frustrating and absurd bureaucracy of the postal service, where procedures often seem arbitrary and senseless. Chinaski's thoughts and feelings reflect a sense of alienation and disconnection from this world. Chapter 2, The Blood of a Wig, Chinaski's experience at the post office deepens as he is assigned to the dead letter department, a place where the mail goes when it can't be delivered. This chapter gives us a closer look at Chinaski's interactions with his eccentric and sometimes comical colleagues who work in this peculiar corner of the post office. We witness bizarre and curious items found in undeliverable letters, adding to the surreal atmosphere of the workplace. The dead letters symbolize the lost and forgotten aspect of life, mirroring Chinaski's own sense of lost potential. Chapter 3, The Big Shit, as Chinaski becomes more entrenched in the post office routine, his dissatisfaction and disillusionment grow. He turns to alcohol as a means of coping with the pressures of the job and the monotony of his life. This chapter explores his growing alcoholism, 
offering a glimpse into his dependence on liquor to numb the pains of existence. The big shit serves as a metaphor for the overwhelming burden of life, and his alcohol consumption becomes a desperate escape from it. Chapter 4, Cherry, Chinesky briefly becomes involved with a fellow postal worker named Cherry, although their relationship is marked by a lack of emotional depth. The chapter highlights the transitory and transactional nature of Chinaski's romantic involvements. His interactions with Cherry provide a window into his detachment from deeper human connections as he continues to struggle with his own emotional baggage and alienation from the world. Chapter 5 The Rape In a shocking turn of events, Chinaski becomes the victim of a brutal assault by two postal workers in the locker room. This incident leaves him physically and emotionally scarred as he grapples with the trauma and injustice of the attack. The chapter delves into the darker, more violent underbelly of his workplace, highlighting the oppressive and toxic environment within the post office. It's a pivotal moment in the story, marking a turning point in Chinaski's journey as he faces the harsh realities of life. These chapters serve to establish the novel's tone and themes, from the stifling bureaucracy of the post office to Chinaski's growing reliance on alcohol and his troubled relationships. As the story unfolds, readers are taken deeper into Chinaski's world, exploring his struggles and his search for meaning and freedom in a society that often feels stifling and indifferent. Bukowski's writing style Charles Bukowski's writing is characterized by its gritty, unvarnished, and often vulgar style. He is known for his candid and unapologetic portrayal of life on the fringes of society. Post Office is a prime example of his ability to capture the mundane and the extraordinary in the lives of ordinary people. Bukowski's work, including Post Office, has resonated with readers for its honesty and its exploration of the human condition. It speaks to those who have felt disillusioned or marginalized by society, and it serves as a reminder that even in the most seemingly ordinary lives, there can be extraordinary stories. Post Office by Charles Bukowski is a powerful novel that offers a brutally honest look at the life of a postal worker and the search for meaning and freedom in a world filled with monotony and alienation. It is a must-read for those interested in Bukowski's unique writing style and his unflinching portrayal of the human experience as we conclude our deep dive into Post Office by Charles Bukowski. We hope you've gained a richer understanding of this brutally honest and unapologetic work of literature. The novel is a testament to Bukowski's talent for capturing the mundane and extraordinary in the lives of ordinary people and its portrayal of the human condition in all its raw complexity. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engaging content on literary classics and their significance. Thank you for joining us on this exploration, and we look forward to embarking on our next literary adventure together.